We've only gone and got a new water bag. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Simon, I'm a full-time boxing coach here at Telford Amateur Boxing Club. Here is our new punch bag from Heavy Hitters. It's an aqua bag, that is, it's filled with water. Now, regards to aqua bags here, we had a aqua bag, first of all, a red one that I did a review of that was behind me over there. And that was a really good aqua bag. We had it for a while. Uh, someone came in and kicked it with shoes on and burst it, okay? So don't get kicking your aqua bags. It's not the right thing to do. And that is a big problem when it comes to aqua bags because obviously there's water inside and there is a skin there and they can burst. If you're hitting them with boxing gloves, they are not going to burst. So obviously, uh, we've got signs up that say, do not hit the bags without gloves. Um, and certainly, obviously, that first aqua bag, someone kicked it and broke it. So we had here before, we had a white water buoy. Okay, so originally we had the red aqua bag, which is branded aqua bag, uh, which was meant for punching. And then Ryan Bratley, who's one of the other coaches here at Telford Amateur Boxing Club, got in contact with a boating company and ordered a water buoy. Okay, so water buoys, obviously, therefore, in the sea uh, to go next to boats and ships, um, but they can be converted into an aqua bag, whereby you put water inside and use them to punch with. So, some people are very good at DIY. Ryan is superb at DIY. In fact, I say that his ancestors had something to do with making the pyramids. But here, I'm not like that. I haven't got the skills to do it. In fact, I'd probably buy a water boy uh, and I'd mess it up in some way and it probably cost me double. So, some people can, and those people that have got the skills to do that sort of DIY could buy a water boy, save them some money, and actually put it up and it will do the same job. For myself, I'm the sort of person, I'm not a DIY person, I'm a consumer and I would much rather buy something that someone else has pre-prepared for me um, and put that up. In saying that, I didn't put this up either. I did help, uh, Ryan lets me hold the screwdriver and the, uh, uh, the water boy and the weight and stuff while he puts it up. And rightly so, he knows what he's doing and I haven't got a clue. So when it comes to something like this, if you are that way inclined DIY, then you can go water boy route. If not, then obviously there is companies like Heavy Hitters that are doing all of the stuff for you, as in the water boy in the different sizes. They also sell the chains and also the brackets. We're quite fortunate here. We've got some really sturdy brackets on the walls to support the different punch bags. On this particular one, Ryan has come up with this sort of canvas strap instead of a, a chain. So you can do that as well. And the reason he's done that is so we can move the aqua bag up and down. Now in this one, this you can cl quite clearly see from sort of the top, it's got like waves there, it's talking about max bar, um, and it's also got some sails there. This is a water buoy, um, but obviously heavy hitters have converted it into an aqua bag. So on there, that's where you sort of fill it in uh, to put the water in. You're supposed to fill it up to about three quarters full. We actually overfilled it a little bit, so the water was, was coming out a little bit at the top. It has settled down now, um, so it is ready for use. So I'll show you. Here. So we had the white one. The white one that we had, which was a water boy, uh, it, was, it was harder than the aqua bag that we had down there. Um, it was harder to hit. I don't know whether that was because it was by the door and it was colder or whether it was a thicker material. It certainly did feel different from that aqua bag. Once the aqua bag was gone, we then of course had the Adidas water bag which is in the background. Now the Adidas water bag, we've had it ages, it gets loads and loads of use. It has been superb. Uh, and what I wanted to do with this one was to get a different size. So what we had was, I think the original aqua bag, I think was, um, I think it was 21 inches. I think that one was 18 inches. We've also got a smaller yellow, 
like a small headhunter bag, which again is a small water boy. Uh, I think that's 12 inches. This one is 16 inches. And I do think that each of the different sizes does do something different. The big 21 inch was a real sort of heavy unit. You really do need those sorts of stanchions and big brackets for that bag and for the 18 inch bag. This one, it's a little bit smaller. You can, it moves around a little bit more. You can move around it a little bit more. There's more movement in it. And of course the he Headhunter one, which is the 12 inch one, I mean that does fly all over the place. But I do like using aqua bags when you're hitting them. I do think that there is less sort of shock on the joints. Would I say that I would just use aqua bags alone? No, I do like to use lots of different heavy bags, water bags, uh, different devices in the boxing training that I do for myself, but also with my boxers. So let's have a closer look at the heavy hitters water bag. So the heavy hitters water bag, as you can see, this is in the red and it's got like a blue top. You've got that there, heavy hitters. The writing actually is already coming off where it says on the R, water-filled punch bags. There you can see as I go around. Um, there it comes with the metal loop, the ring. Okay, and also you can see that is there where it is filled up. As you can see on here from these sort of waves and the max bar at 20 Celsius, that is a, an actual water boy. You can tell that it's got some waves there and it's even got some, it's even got some sails there as well. So, you know, you can see what they've done. They've converted a water boy into a boxing aqua bag. Uh, this one in 16 inches. And when what we've done is we've gone, we've put a strap there that is attached to that big stanchion and uh, that will keep that nice when it's being punched in terms of secure because there's a lot of forces involved when these bags are being punched. The Heavy Hitters water bag, in this size it is £99.98, 16 inch, you can get 18 inch one for £134.99, you can get the 22 inch one for £164.99. They also sell the chains and they also sell the wall brackets as well and you can go to heavyhitters.co.uk, I will include it below the link to them. Um, but definitely, if, if you are not a DIY enthusiast, if you can't go to a water boy shop and make your own, then companies like Heavy Hitters have done it for you. Um, I'm also a little bit sort of, if you go back to Heavy Hitters and you say that it's burst, um, obviously they're going to be, there'll be a warranty involved in that because this is designed for being punched. I'm not so sure if you go to a water boy place and say, me water boy has uh, burst and they say well how is it burst and you say well I was punching it I'm not so sure that you've got the same protection uh, from a boating company as you would from an actual boxing company surely they would turn around and say well it's not designed for that even though it does do a great job and it can be converted so as I say if you're a DIY enthusiast yeah you can make an aqua bag cheaper you can get the, um, the like the uh, how to fill it up. It sort of just gets converted. Obviously, with a water boy, they're normally filled with air, not with water. So, but if you want to actually just have one that is already pre-made for you, then companies like Heavy Hitters are doing a great job of supplying them for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel, and I shall speak to you soon.